hey what is up people this is asam back again with another video and in this video i am going to show you how to use soil moisture sensor using python and arduino okay here i am going to use pymata 4 to accessing the arduino and let me show the diagram okay this is the soil moisture sensor that i am going to make make sure your diagram is ready now i am going to show the demo okay Okay guys you can see the value is printing okay I have taken some dry mud and now I am getting this value okay now I am going to make this project from scratch okay now let me terminate this okay now I am going to take a blank project okay okay now First of all, I'm going to import PyMata4, okay, from PyMata4. Import PyMata4. And then I'm going to set the board, okay. Let me set the board. Okay, the board will be, uh, the board is going to be auto detected, okay. Uh, PyMata4 is going to auto detect the Arduino board. So I'm calling the PyMata4 and then X, I'm going to access the PyMata4 class. Okay, now I'm going to set the analog pin the analog pin that i'm going to set is a zero okay let me set the analog pin to zero and then i'm going to set the digital pin the digital pin is going to eight okay uh, in this diagram i just only showed the analog pin you guys can check only analog pin or digital pin whatever you want but uh, in in this video i'm going to show you how to use two pins okay let me rename it okay now i'm going to set the pins mode okay so for that board dot set pin mode okay i'm going to set uh, first of all i'm going to set that okay here i'm going to pass the pin pin number the pin number is analog pin okay so here i'm going to pass the analog pin variable and then i'm going to set the digital pin mode okay set pin mode to digital input okay and then the pin is digital pin okay now i'm going to add a loop while loop and this loop is going to control the printing values all the time okay then here i'm going to call a, i'm going to i'm going to set a variable called value and then i'm going to read the analog input okay so board dot analog read okay what i'm going to read i'm going to read this pin okay so here i'm going to set the pin okay now i'm going to print this value let me set okay print this value and then i'm going to add a delay okay so for adding a delay i must import the time module here uh, i just imported the time module and then i'm going to access the sleep method okay for one second okay now before executing this file i must need to before executing this file i must uh, make my arduino board to pymata compatible okay so for that open up your arduino ide and then go to tools after that go to okay let's say manage libraries it will take a bit of time to open okay here we can see the list is updating okay now from here just simply type pharmata express because pymata is dependent on pharmata protocol and the latest pharmata express is extremely cool for pymata 4 and now i'm going to install it okay pharmata express okay 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 in my case i already installed it and in your case just simply click the install button okay now go to file after that go to examples okay here from ex from examples and then go at the bottom okay here you will find the format express okay just open up the format express and then 
upload it to your Arduino board. Okay, well here we can see the sketch is compiling. Okay. Okay, here we can see the uploading is done. Okay, now I'm going to run my program. Okay, let's see. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, the Arduino is automatically detected. Okay, here I am getting the value. Okay, this is the value, but if you want to separate the value from this argument, then just simply pass a variable here okay let's say this is actually the timestamp okay so i'm going to separate the timestamp from the value okay here we can see the value is a tuple and here is two value or two value the first one is the analog read and the second one is timestamp okay now i'm going to separate this timestamp here okay now here now i'm going to run this program okay here we are getting the value okay the mud is very dry so the value the values here we are getting is over 800 okay or 700 okay now i'm going to turn on my camera and let me show you what is going on Okay, now I'm going to run my program and let's see what happens. Okay, here we are getting this value. Okay. Now I'm going to add some water into it. Okay, and let's check the value again. Okay, here I'm going to give some water. Okay, guys, here you can see the value is reduced less than 400 or 500 okay okay guys you can see the value is reducing okay guys i think you guys have the clear idea how to use swell moisture sensor using python and arduino okay okay guys in my next video i am going to show something different till then Goodbye.